Hello and welcome to the Technomancer. Now, the reviews have not been great for this already. Off the bat, IGN has given it like 4.9 out of 10. So we'll just have a little play of it. We'll do a little quick time on it, see what we think. And then uh, if people really love it, and I really love it, I might have streamed some as well, but we shall see. At the source of all life, there is water. On Mars, where it is rare, water is a source of conflict, struggle, and death. Since the turmoil, there have been unending wars, fought over the possession of clean water. We are the forgotten children of Earth, trapped in this red, barren wasteland. Here, hell is not a concept, it's our reality. And the reality is that every drop counts. Then there were the unfortunates, caught in the full power of the sun's radiation, forced to deform, mutate into unrecognizable monsters. Oh, Jesus. The others, the ones who remained similar to our ancestors in likeness, hid under massive metal shells governed by water corporations. But in the slums, people's lives aren't worth much more than the mutants. And I would know. That's where I spent the first 10 years of my life, under the boot of the Vori. Of course, in despair, there is hope. Sexy times. Some have begun to explore, travel even, from corporation to corporation, leaving their loyalties behind. We have organization, structure, and inevitably, politics. Don't talk to me about politics <laughs> right now. And far removed from us, the Dowser, the inaccessible face of abundance. And finally, there's us, the elite protectors of the people, the spearhead of the army, my brothers and sisters who all share the same special gift. We are Technomancers. Right, okay, so it's basically Mad Max, but not. Yeah? Effectively, there is a fight over water. It's a commodity, uh, the water corporations. It's like Mad Max had a baby with, I suppose, Mass Effect. I am also hearing little tones of Mass Effect in that soundtrack. I think I'm going to go with that guy, maybe. I'm playing on PC, by the way. Uh, for those of you who will, in the comments, immediately start saying I'm on an Xbox or a PS4, I'm on a PC. So this is PC graphics, and I think it's on Ultra. Uh, right, so because this is a RPG, we have skill or talents. Talents, oh god. Um, and they allow us to do different things. Uh, picking padlocks, apparently, with this game. I guess we'll find out what that's all about. Uh, but I have different places I could go. So I could start with... I've got one point to spend any of this. So there's charisma, which I always like to go for. And then that unlocks, like, another... Oh, 20% damage for companions. Oh, fuck yeah. No, I'm happy with that choice. Let's do it. Oh, God. Now we have attributes. So, yeah, very RPG-based. I'm going to put it into power, because I want to be a Technomancer. Ahoy, Zachariah. Scott, you came. Ahoy. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Sure, my memory isn't what it... But I remember to write things down on my calendar. Though I do sometimes forget where my calendar is. Anyhow, I knew your last cadet mission was today. Any nerves? If it's any consolation, you look more than fit enough. No, I'm good. I'm ready. Mmm. -hmm. Yes, healthy flush of the skin. No rapid eye movement. You don't look stressed out. Very well. I won't bother you anymore. Oh, but if I can bother you... What? You just said you wouldn't bother me anymore. I recently acquired a batch of materials that can improve your gear. It's not much, but I thought you'd like it. You can't still, still can't believe you're going to be an officer soon. Yeah, me too. Thanks, Scott. It means a lot. Ah. I fear we've dilly-dallied on pleasantries. Your master, Sean, waits for you in the courtyard. <laughs> so stiff, that one. I fear his spine is concocted from steel. A spine prosthetic. How interesting. What if... Oh, and stop by the clinic and come shoot the chit-chat. Come shoot the chit-chat. Just don't be a stranger. If you feel ill or need a hand, come see me. I'm always glad to help. 
Good luck, my boy. Thank you, Scott. Will do. I promise. That writing is a bit funny. Also, I noticed in that cutscene that there is, if you watch back uh, or you watch like future ones, it looks like there's like a, a, a line across my neck where my head has been put on. So we now find ourselves at the like workshop crafting thing, which allows you to not only break down unused stuff, um, but also make health potions and uh, socket. That's effectively what it is. Socket your weapons. So like I'm doing this with this dagger um, and it, it just reuses all the crap that I've got, like the metal components, the poor quality leather. This this whole bit seems quite intuitive. It seems very like rpg -y. I mean, it's an RPG. I don't know what more you want me to say. This bit is pretty good. The UI is a bit like overwhelming. There's an awful lot of stuff and you're like, what the fuck am I doing? But I think I will pick that up as I go along. Cool, man. What's that? Look at that. Wah! And there's a dodge. Oh, look at that. That's cool. All right, hang on. Let's stop fucking about and go downstairs. I like how he's holding... I always like how people hold the spears. I will be honest, I went and bought a broom from my local co-op the other day. Fucking mancers. Every time they come around, something new is broken. Fuck you, man. I fix it, they break it again. I fix it... Yeah, so I was walking around the shop like this, going, I'm an animu. It was great. Oh, here we go, it's tutorial time. <laughs> Failed. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He could die. Are you not entirely concerned? Zachariah, today, as you know, marks your final mission as a cadet. I trust you are prepared. Of course, Master. Ready, willing, and able. And a little nervous. Normal and expected. That's why I have gathered together your usual instructors to allow you to warm up and prepare. Thanks. It's for you to ace the tests for each fighting technique. Prepare yourself. And once you are ready, join me at the station. From there, a train will take us to the mission site. That woman's really distracting in the background. Thank you, Master. Yeah, look. This woman is really distracting. Like, something's not right about her posture. I think it's her ass. It's too big. This is the problem. Now I've done, like, the gaming butts thing <laughs> with, uh, with Laura. I'm all about that jazz. Hey, heard from Captain Sean you're heading out to the station. You leaving now? Yes. Yep, already ready. Stop right there. We're conducting a search. What do you mean you're conducting a search? I'm a technomancer. Look at this piece of shit. Well, well, what do we have here? Huh? Road trash seems lost, don't it? You forget we don't want your kind around your track. Move your sorry ass out of here. Jesus oh, Christ, so guys. Hey! I'm sorry, I had you. I didn't ask you to speak! Uh, Did I? You uh, use this piece of shit! Why would I want to hear what you have to say? Uh, Waste this place! Please, I just. Uh, Mouth and just fucking die! Oh my god. The corpse will feed the rats. At least then you'd have a purpose. Such a waste of life. A waste of space. Am I right? A rogue is a rogue is a sack, right? You can dress him up, but. Fuck off, mate. Fuck off, Alan. Before I. Zachariah, we're leaving. Certain people are graduating to the rank of officer today. While others aren't even worth the expense of their time or energy. Let us be off to more remarkable things. Okay. I look weird. It's those eyes. I regret the white hair and eyes. I was just like, it looks so cool. But the more I look at it, the more I'm like, it's a bit off putting. Like Ragnar's eyes in Vikings, which they claim are not. CGI'd at any point. They just use lighting. Look, Zach, we are heading for the dome. It was built by the first settlers. A relic. Oh, cool. Let's go. And what's there for us? The 
According to reports, looters. Who, in our interest, it would be best to keep. Looters! Out. Come on then. This is cool. I quite like this. Oh. Oh, what? I have to wait for him. Zachariah, do you remember your first lesson? On the scarcity of life? Indeed, the very one. I can't. Kill a fellow unfortunate end in this hell. Only the more alone we will become. Disable the looters, but spare their lives. Okay, thank you for that. Can we carry on now? Just pulling me up short. There's, there's a guy over there. We're going up here to try and, like, scope the place out. I've got this cool thing, though. Check this out. Hello. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Let's try and back up. I can't really do it unless I'm in the right place. Oh, yeah. So the controls aren't exactly... Um, they're not exactly simple to pick up in places. They're a little bit of a mess. But if you sort of get used to them. If you get used to them, then they might be all right. They're certainly not as um, intuitive as other fighting games that I've played, but I think it's just getting used to the idea of stances and actions and, and all of this, all of this stuff. So you want us to go in there? And get rid of them all because that's quite a lot of guys like we were struggling to kill two guys or not two guys out you don't kill people so i'm uh, just saying now man this is probably oh hello a bad call oh I, I, that's how we, that's how we stealth i've gone up a level so we can now spend in the skill tree i can choose what i want to go into uh so i can choose between technomancer so the Guardian, the Rogue, and the Warrior are the three different stances and technomancy, assumedly you can use in all of them. A small area of effect to the fast attack. Yes, let's put that in. Oh, oh god, really? You can't just drop down. Okay, that's fine. Hello, Mr. Mancer. There are looters gathered at the dome's entrance. A lot of them. But they're not equipped to be more than a nuisance. Take care nonetheless, Zachariah. That guard there, separated from his group. Sneak on him and the battle will be easily won. Fine, I'll do it. Has he got his back to us? I fucking hope so. Shh, Jesus Christ. Also, good job resetting. Okay. Oh, God, why? Oh, Lord. It's all getting a bit close in here, I'll be honest. Uh... Oh, hello. Let's not, let's not get caught. I'm getting a bit caught there. Oh, hello. Yes, I got two in one. Oh, you did too. I somehow feel slightly less smug about that now you'll notice it does say drain serum kill but i've had specific instructions not to kill so we won't be we won't be doing that i'm gonna be good for now right we're here we're at the cave what's that oh what is that oh, f dude um uh, those look like bugs. I didn't know there were... I'm, I'm not into bugs. Jesus Christ. I, can I not? Oh my God, there's ants. Oh my God, okay. Sorry, I'm just busy doing my double attack. So I want to see how it works. Hey, buddy. Are you like a walking... They're like weird walking shrimps, aren't they? Sometimes I wonder if initiating you is the right thing to do. Excuse me, what? What do you mean? Am I not ready? No, you're ready, Zachariah. With that, there is no doubt. I worry about you and care for your happiness. Once you become a Technomancer, there's no going back. You lose your freedom. From the moment our abilities are brought into the light, to the moment Come the on. light is snuffed from our eyes, the Technomancers are nothing but pawns on a chessboard. We have no free will. Abundance forces its will on us. Oh my god! I think about the future. How hard it will become as the ASC rises in power. 
Perhaps I'm just being paranoid. Forgive your master's little spell. You must focus on more important things. Try, like, trying to drain this fucking serum, man. I mean, holy shit. Some of them. These are alright. I guess you just have to be really fucking slow about it. You can't just run up an auto loot. It's the only issue with having, like, that key. Uh, so that's the, like, secondary attack. It's also the talk button. So it's just a bit clunky. But I kind of knew that going in. There's been an awful lot of people going like, yeah, it's a little bit clunky. That's okay. Like, I can forgive it. This door. It is the same as that in our chapel. Accessible only to the combined energies of two Technomancers. Are you telling me you have to do some weird sexy link? Because I didn't sign up for that, man. This isn't fucking Avatar. doing some things right. It's doing a lot of things possibly wrong or slightly cumbersomely. Oh man, there's books! I like books. Holy shit. Are we in the cloister? Is it the cloister? The citadel? That's what I'm thinking of. Are we in the citadel from Game of Thrones? Here lies the entrance. And beyond the main room. Where we must go. For being so old, it's in great condition. What exactly, Master, is inside the dome? Knowledge, sir. The essence of knowledge, even. Also, this draining malarkey for each one is kind of a bit annoying. Hello, ants. Oh my god, that one shoots poison. Well, we're going to deal with you in an appropriately AoE-like manner. I got rid of all of them, apart from the ones that he's going to deal with. Creatures do not belong to them. Their very presence is a danger to the relics. We must seek out their origin. I remember well the first time I came here. I was fascinated. I really thought I was part of an elite. I've become disillusioned since then. If all this knowledge indeed gives us some sort of power, we are still faced with so many obstacles that we can't do anything with it. It's more of a danger for us than a tool. Knowledge is power. Just how it works. This is a big ass spitting motherfucker. Ew. Still only get two serum from it though. So you get between like one and three, it looks like, from these basic guys. I I thing is, this is this bit, this bit is not what I want to do in a game. I don't want to be running around draining all the serum, but I need serum in order to make um help that's not where we go. In order to make health kits. Like that. Focus injection. Light. Oh. We put that on B. Bind that to B. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. We've got a little bit got a little light. Um, yeah, so it's a mixed bag. I'm it, it seems kind of cool, but it there are clunky there's definitely clunky things about it. I am liking the setting though. I like the idea that there's this sort of weird library thing on Mars. People haven't been in for a while. March 17th, 2076. Subject 12. The subject appears acclimatized, pulse elevated but steady, unaffected by any visible health concerns. James, how do you feel? Great! So alive! My heart's racing, man. I feel like I take on the world. And it's, and I'm being honest here, it's a bit overwhelming. Uh. Subject self report is consistent and substantiated with our measurements of human and other subjects, all of whom produce EEGs indicating activity levels acutely higher than any ever associated with a human not subjected to the mutation. The only adverse side effect, it appears, is the near tenfold increase in corporeal and cerebral electricity. Dangerous levels that will necessitate the urgent invention of a device capable of evacuating such surplus in order to avoid subject injury. Oh, is this how we began? This man talking about technomancy, about mutations, as if I can't believe. And yet it still might be so. This recording dates to the first settlers. Speaks of the first Technomancers. Shocking, perhaps? Where did you think our abilities came from? A divine power? Guess I never thought about it, man. I don't, but 
We have no physical signs of mutation, and I don't know any mutant that has our gifts. And why should any of those things matter? Might not our mutation simply be of a different form? This brings us to the most important point. What you have seen unifies us, unifies the Technomancers. This secret must be kept from all other humans. If this information was discovered by, say, the ASC, we would become nothing but slaves. Our situation is already incredibly undesirable. We are not only isolated, but used as human bombs. True. Take a walk by the mutant pen in the slums one day. That is what our lives could have been. Don't be dismayed. I have been through this as well, so have all the other Technomancer officers in abundance. Knowledge of this revelation makes you one of us now, more so than your skills. But now is time to deal with the creatures infesting the dome. It would be a real shame if the installations here are damaged, for we will no longer be able to hold initiation trials here. Yes, yes, of course, Master. I haven't found an opening yet, so they must have breached lower in the dome. And that's where we must go. Why aren't you telling him that? You've been there the whole time. I will divert the attention of these creatures. The oh, is that what they are? They're sand hoppers. Oh, level up. Hang on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Uh, no, I want to go RT, don't I? Oh, I don't have any points for that. I get it at level five. But this one, I could do... I'm going to put a point into agility so I can upgrade my cleaver. You know how it goes. Um. No, I, I want, I want, how do I swap it over? I don't really know how I swap it over without. Oh, I guess I do it like that. I just change it there, don't I? I think. I think. We'll find out. It, it, this is kind of a bit of an experience for all of us. Like, I'm trying to work out what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, let's put a little bit into Rogue because I'm now possibly using a uh, a dagger. Let's give it a go. See what it's like, you know? Um, stances. So we now want to go into Rogue. Ooh, that's quite sexy. We're not going that way, are we? We're going this way. Right. Let's see. Sand hoppers. Oh, no, we're going this way. Hello. Oh, well, you died very quickly. Thanks. Um, oh, there's more. Oh, there's always more, aren't there? Ah, yes, I can shoot things, although I'm now poisoned by this fucker. Oh, my gun gets hot as well. That's that's a bit alarming. Okay, that's, that's fine, though. It's all right. It's, I'm getting used to it. Yeah, it's a mixed bag. I mean, I wouldn't say this is the worst game I've ever played. I don't think it's fair that IGN have given it, like, effectively 5 out of 10. In fact, they've been they've given it less than 5 out of 10. Um, but maybe I haven't gotten far enough through to go, oh, I see why, which could be true. The, I will admit the combat is clunky. The story is not great. Um, but frankly... It's the closest thing I'm going to fucking get to Mass Effect until it turns up, so I've, I'm kind of rolling with it. A loot chest! This is the best day! Those are very borderlandsy. There's health! Holy shit, that's loads! I, I was really running low on health injections, so I drained all that serum to make two. Like, I shit you not, I've been draining all the serum, it's just it's taken fucking ages. And now I've got seven health pots. We're going to call them health pots, because frankly, like, fucking hell otherwise. Oh god, what's that? Why was it doing that weird flick? That was odd. I guess it's because I hadn't drawn my sword. Oh no, it's too hot. That's okay though, because we'll just kick the shit out of you. Oh, there we go, done. What's that? Dude, I've just had a really horrible thought. Oh god, that that those were babies, weren't they? Holy shit. That's huge! That's the mum! Oh fuck me. This is a bad day for everyone involved. Where the fuck's the master? He's just buggered off. 
<laughs> Dude! Help! Uh... Whoa! I mean, this kind of shit is cool. Like, there's moments of this game where I'm like, that's cool. Right, okay. Oh, hello. What was with the random attack you decided to do there? Uh, also, let's go into Warrior, because fuck, dude. So, it does a weird forward attack. Oh, uh, no, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Okay, right, so I think we need to hit. Whoa, hello. That was not an attack I expected. Shit. So we want to kind of get in here, don't we? Ow. Whoa. Okay. So I need to try and, like, dodge things. Woo! But fuck me. How do you do that? Doesn't leave much scope, like, room. Are you kidding me? I was nowhere near that. Whoa. Let's not get caught up in that. There we go. Oh. Dude, what, what are you doing? Oh shit, he's like shorted out. Is that seriously it? You had to come in and save the day by electrocuting the giant mantis. That was our initiation. Oh dear. This is quite embarrassing. And you carried me out, and you killed the mantis. I mean, like, fuck, dude, should I even be here? Hello, I don't know who you are, but great, man. Oh God, it's the initiation ceremony. You, who bore witness to the secret with your own eyes, who knows in your heart of hearts that the revelation that he bears is true, and who has understood that this knowledge could cast us into endless pits of despair. As you drink the sap of the world, the water that feeds our lives. Abandon the one you thought you were and instead become our brother, Zachariah Manser. God, this is so weird. Together we have shared the water and secret. Can you swear to forever protect the knowledge of the earth and to dedicate your life to finding it again? to defend and protect our secret, even with the sacrifice of your life, if need be. I swear. Then welcome, my brother. What's going on now? Oh, okay. I mean, this is all very like, I mean, I'm, the, the fucking hammer's there. You may as well put a sickle. Um, it's all a bit... <laughs> I, God, I actually, I don't want to go into it. I don't want to go into the politics for obvious reasons. I'm fucking fed up of politics. I know you must be troubled by what you've learned, and I assure you that it's no less troubling to me. But be proud of what you are, and know, no matter what, we are by your side. And that this initiation, as horrid as it may be, makes you forever our brother. You showed the courage of lions beneath the dome, and for it you have been made an officer. So I imagine, now that you no longer need my guidance, they will send me elsewhere with the great and endless pride of having been your teacher over these few years. The honor was mine, Master. No, not Master. It's just Sean now. Sean! Go. Take your assignment as an officer. Count the blessings you've amounted. Those that allowed you to avoid the front thus far. Captain Eliza is waiting in the barracks. She's harsh, but fair. But before you find her, 
Oh my god, it's begun. The regulations. Technomancers get no leave from the front in times of war. So being here, I can't even sneeze without a report being written up. But you, you have a free pass. I need you to go to the exchange district for me. There's an itinerant merchant there who was supposed to arrive yesterday. Just meet with him. The merchants have no ties to abundance and travel among us like shadows. Let's skip that. Yes, great master. That's good, Zachariah. It's begun, guys. We have got the quests. So there's loads of different quests. They're gonna start. All the quests are gonna start now. So um, this is the point at which the world stupidly will open up and we begin our I suppose storyline to this bit when we then get chased by the police, which I would have thought had kicked off in the first hour, but it hasn't yet, so I guess we'll do that on the stream. Um, I, it's a mixed bag, this one. It's, it's at face value, looks quite complicated, um, and is a little bit clunky, both in the combat and the UI until you get used to it, but I don't think it's the worst thing I've ever played, and I kind of want to play a little bit more? like on the stream or something like that so um do you think it looks all right like there's definitely moments where you go that's quite cool like the sand hopper queen lady but there are also various things that i would take issue with such as the dialogue's a bit clunky the story seems to be a little bit slow um and so forth but i do like the setting like these are really nice environments considering like the budget that they had to work with so um yeah thank you very much for watching um, if you've got any more suggestions for games that you would like me to put on Quick Time, which is this series where I basically play like the first hour and turn it into uh, a video, uh, then do let me know. Please do like and share this with your friends. Uh, if anyone you know was thinking of getting Technomancer or wanted more information on what it looked like and how it played, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.